the Viva Tech Show, the Viva Technology Show in France is something like the CES from Las Vegas. It's a gathering of startups, so there's a lot of technology flowing in, a lot of future of technology and uh, different kind of solutions that, we, that are being offered here. So automotive is of course one of those. And because this is in France, you have the French car makers participating, one of which is Citroën. And the car that you see behind me is actually a concept called the 1919. Now Citroën was established in 1919, this is 2019. They've finished their 100 years this year and this concept sort of celebrates that. It's also a vision of what road tripping or a road tripping vehicle could look like in 2119. Yep, 100 years from now. So what Citro believes is vehicles will definitely go autonomous, but because this is a road tripping vehicle, because this is something that you will enjoy driving, there is still a steering wheel. So at least in a vision, I think that's a very good news. The 1919 concept features innovative seating on the inside that is nothing short of a comfortable designer sofa set. The exterior is inspired by aviation, featuring a smooth and seamless silhouette for the passenger cell that mimics jet cockpits. The Citroën 1919 is a vision of the future, but its performance figures are very much in line with today's electric powertrains, achieving a not 200 km an hour sprint of 5 seconds flat and a top speed of 200 km an hour with its 456 PS or 800 Nm dual motor electric powertrain. The range is claimed at 800 km. So this is the AMI-1 or the AMI-1 concept from Citroën. Uh, now this car essentially to me is uh, like the Citroën 2 CV from the STS uh, being reimagined for the future. Not in terms of its design, not in uh, terms of its equipment, but in terms of its intent to essentially provide low cost mobility with the technologies of the future this time around. So what this car is essentially frugal engineering uh, with uh, electrification with a lot of uh, technologies of the future and that could actually turn out to be the mobility of the future as well at the entry point. So that is what Citro uh, essentially wants to do with the AMI-1. This is a concept for now. Uh, no worry at all uh, if they would want to produce it and if uh, they would, when would that happen? All that will be clear at a later stage but take a closer look. It's a very interesting vehicle. The AMI-1 is Citroën's alternative to public transport and this personal mobility solution measures only 2.5 meters in length. It sits on a fully electric powertrain that is capable of delivering a 100 km driving range and speeds of up to 45 km an hour. Its simple design and frugal engineering will theoretically ensure a wider appeal for urban car buyers looking for personal mobility solutions.